uh, yeah, girls don't want to be on it, bro. I, I mean, everything about women are, is, a, is a lie. They wear makeup, fake hair, fake nails, Whoa. eyelashes. Purity. No, but they do tighten up fashion. When you start asking real questions, it's like, no, but that is true. When you ask real questions, everything about female nature is deception, bro. I literally talked about this. Like, their their whole their body count. You don't even know when they're in heat or when they're on their period. Like, everything about females is deception. They don't show you interest. They try to play hard to get. Everything about female nature. But let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Do you yeah. think it has changed over time based on social media and all that? Do you think like the 50s and the 60s whores were everywhere? Fucking <laughs> everywhere? <laughs> like, truthfully, though, do you yeah. think people I mean, have to compete based on like levels of what they're seeing online? All these because there's so much competition. People yeah. are seeing it. They get you know. It's out there more now, but women still play like because you'll meet a girl that is a fucking slut throwing it around on OnlyFans and you'll hang out with her and she'll be like, but I'm not really like that. And she'll play games and shit. So like, girls still like. Will try to deceive, even That's, though it's all out there on Instagram or social media. So, but the, 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 the wave of states, go, go ahead. Sorry, she might leave her current state because she's like a hoe over there. Come yeah. over here, be like, oh, I'm an angel. But yeah. now, man, yeah, you wouldn't know. But, but we then, had a trajectory of going towards more like it's like just nonstop like wild activity. I think it's gonna get worse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, me too. I think I think Instagram, and that's why I disagree with her. She was like, I don't want a man on social media. No, I don't want a bitch on social media because when girls are on social media, it's a problem because when girls have more options, they become terrible people. Like, right. uh, like if a girl has a bunch of options, she's always looking like, oh, grass green on the other side. I yep. can upgrade. Men, if we got a good girl by us, a lot of times we're not going nowhere, bro. We're not. Yeah. Yeah. We're not like you guys where I just want more money or more clout or more status. If I we got a chick respect. that's not a whore no, this, that's, wait, that, that has facts. no status, I don't care. She's my chick. I want other women, of course, yeah. but I'm not going to leave a main chick that's good. Women don't operate like that. That's why she's not going to leave. I'm going to ask you something. I'll never cheat. What? Will you still cheat, though? Never cheat. Because you admitted that you want So why do you want other women? I will never be monogamous because that's stupid. I don't make money to fuck one girl. That's dumb. That's fucking really dumb. Because you guys are not that special. We asked you, what do you bring to the table for a million dollars a month? You couldn't even name nothing. You said me. I My said brain. That's right. asinine. Yeah, you saying you is not a lot of detail I followed there. with the guys. No, but, what, but do, do you not? Do you see what I'm trying to say here? No matter how much money or status or whatever I bring to the table, girls say dumb shit like that. I bring me. The fuck do I look like? Just I me. followed with that. Cook clean, bro. I could hire a maid. I could get another girl to do that. Yeah. And <laughs> I said I I simulate their minds with other. With what? Let me be very candid about this. Most of you women are not as special as you guys think you are. But then you see why okay. you, you categorize, like, you don't know every woman out there, so why do you Y'all are all the same. I've interviewed almost 3,000 of y'all. You say the same so dumb shit over and over. How was I able to predict we're what you guys were going to say before you said it? No, 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 no. How do I know that your boyfriend's a broke without you not saying a word? Because I know how you guys think and how you guys move. I know women better than they know themselves. I know what you but guys are going to say. I think he's right. I think he's right. He's right, but I mean, if you stand on you know you're You guys are very similar, man. How do you stand out? It's because not all women are the same, man. You stand out. Like, no, no. How, okay, how do you stand out? I would say because I've never fucked around. I've never fucked a thousand guys because when yeah, you're yeah, also you very guys, young, do you have a long life to live? Like I'm older. Exactly, you're, 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 you're young. You you're young. You'll figure it out. You're very young. Like this is really fucking crazy. You're that young. You, wait, wait. You have. So, it doesn't matter what age. So you're saying you're a virgin? You gotta learn to find your way. You will figure it out. No, I'm not a virgin. Okay, so then relax. I don't use young shit. I didn't say all girls are sluts. I'm simply saying that you guys have a very similar thought process. I'm saying women have a very similar thought process from one another. You guys try to make it sound like you guys are special, but the reality is you guys like the same oh, types of guys you guys want the same traits you want Jeez, the same characteristics and men and there's nothing wrong with that oh, yes. but you I'm guys run around and say that you're special and you're different all you bitches think you're two chains and you're not bro you're yeah. not you guys are not that different from each other if you work for what like you us, want men we're no. very similar we admit that and you want to keep some, learning there's something i want to go back to yeah, about, ahead, uh, about girl knocking on social media right uh -huh. <laughs> And I'll, Bob, I'm not gonna call you out, but Bro, like, you say you. And one thing, I'll throw your fucking okay, but head. Wait, wait, like a tendency that. No, no, I'm, I'm being for real. Say a tendency one thing, like I dare he, you to he puts say his that. girls like he has a big following. He puts his girls on his on his story. Puts their tag. Yeah, I mean, how many fucking while. guys go and DM that chick? Uh, that's fine. I don't give a fuck. If she so was, that's what I'm saying. When you have your girl on social media, you're fucked, bro. The moment she gets followers and clout, then, she's gonna leave your ass. She probably don't, but they, yeah, that's not know. true. That's true. If, if you how is that not true? If, if, really if, show, if, 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 girls, if a girl's like, with me because I have a big following, you put her on. She's gone, bro. Once she gets something better, that's a good point. And meanwhile, you want how big of a scumbag Sadi is? Sadi has. I'm not throwing shade at you. Well, I think he's thinking general. He's thinking general. I cannot take his head and break it. He's throwing your fucking bundle. You post, uh, no, I get what you're saying, though. You, you post her on your page, you tag her. If she's on social media and yeah. I start tagging her and she starts and she gains a huge following, you know how many guys are going to slide in and she's probably going to leave me once she doesn't need me anymore? That's true. We've that's seen true. that time and time again. That's, 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 that's why Ricecum like, did what he did. That's why you look at Aiden's girlfriends. They all did that stupid shit to him. You yeah. look at Neon and Neon. all these girls. Like, I, I always say it's a red flag if a girl is like a social media influencer who wants to be on the internet. Like, that's what about a problem. man to man respect? What about man to man respect as far as like, hey, here's the deal. What about man to man respect? Like, 
Stani just had my fucking ex on his fucking show without running it by me. Whoa. Two and a half years. I actually without did fucking run it by, run it by me, I motherfucker. Did run it by you, you understand that's dangerous territory. Buddy. I ran it by you, bro. What girl? You called me after it already happened. That's the problem. Yeah, and I said, yo, are you cool with me releasing this? So can we talk about you how men so are intimidated by women that, that get their own shit? Or do you actually like Literally. That? Do y'all like women that. that are driven oh, and then want to get on, their own? Hold on, before we get into this, that's a whole other topic. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, it's, it's a real question. I, I get it. We'll get to it. But okay. I, I just want to make sure. Is that what you, um, that, that was your point? You didn't want anything, add anything else to that as far as the girl getting clout or whatever from No, I'm just saying like that's No, I agree with you. That's a I agree problem and that's a one-way a street because you never see some girl putting her guy on, so, right? Some guys if are smart guy's about not, it. Like Rice Gun, I, I remember, took like a percentage of girl shit, but if you look at like a lot of guy streamers that bring girls on, yeah, the girl gets some clout and she fucking leaves a lot of right. the time. I figure that's how you no, test her fast. You test her fast that way. So I'll know when I fucking that's put my girl out there. If she fucks oh, around, we're out. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's how you know how fast she's lawyer or not. But why? Let me tell you something Why am I going to park the Lamborghini in the hood and leave it unlocked? Say again? Why am I going to park the Lamborghini in the hood? I'll leave it unlocked. First of all, what I was with was not a Lamborghini. It was a broken down Chevy. <laughs> it was a broken down Chevy. With on gas. I think the takeaway here is that when when women have leverage over the guy from a social media or status perspective, she's more likely to leave than if the man has status and leverage from a social media perspective. For because sure. for us, we're not attracted to status versus women are. So if, if you got a good chick and she's not famous, you don't give a fuck. She's not a whore. She's attractive. We want to bring a girl into a party that nobody knows. You guys aren't like that. Bro, it's you want a dude that's lit and, oh, he has following and all this. Girls want to be able to, you know, yeah, have but a also, but Wait, but wait, but wait. I, want to, I want to go back on that point because yeah, sure, you have ahead. girls, right, that are have big followings that are there for their money. I know girls that have been on, uh, that have big followings, won't even show their guy for yeah. business, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to yeah. fuck up yeah, my yeah, business. Exactly. Yeah. I can't yeah. show my guy. Yeah. It's true. So it's a fucking one way street, and it actually pisses me the fuck off because it's bullshit. And I've seen my friends get their their girls dip them when they put them on. Yeah, well, guess and what? It's, don't it's worry. Crazy we want that that's not more exposed. Bed, I'm just. No, 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 you're, you're right, bro. And that's why I tell guys, don't fuck crazy. with girls. I literally tell guys, if you you dude and you got status, all locations, don't fuck with guys, cloud chaser chicks. Don't yeah, fuck with guys on social media. Your people right now, listen. Your people right now are turning from. Let me tiny, bro. Let me tiny. Hold on. Your people are tuned in from Wisconsin, from fucking the middle of Kansas, the middle of fucking whatever, right? Yeah. People are not accustomed to our lives. We live. A different world. Yeah, I understand that. We live in a world right now in Miami. We're out. We have shots that go up at eleven o'clock at night. We do these shows. Yeah. Like it's all fucking fast. The motherfucking average person that lives in America lives in the middle of nowhere. Man, there's not a lot of opportunities to fucking fuck around and do all that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So with this shit, it's just a different. But here's fucking the thing, world. though. Like with chicks, like every I live girl... in the middle of the motherfucking woods. I want to chase tornadoes yeah, and just sit there and realize. fuck a bitch missionary and chase tornadoes. Why do you think girls don't post their boyfriends? <laughs> no, but that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Same. Like regular girls are on TikTok with like fifty thousand followers. Like regular chicks. That's why I'm telling guys, like, yo, don't commit to a girl that's like super serious about social media or trying Summer to. Summer Shiki's a whore. That's it. Go that's why I personally tell guys it's gonna cause you headaches when your girl's big on social media. Nine out of ten times. Yeah, yeah. and the issue is she, could be, she could be in the Midwest, but she has TikTok, Instagram. So it's just she's just like a damn away. Well, why, he needs to be but confident. why do you think, girl? Like if. What Steiny was saying, why do you think she doesn't want to post you, Steiny? No, that's not my situation. You didn't say no, my girl, I've never well, once put general, no girl on my story. I've never tagged and no girl for a reason. Me and my girls, I walked in on Steiny jerking off with a lot. Like, like when you are dating a guy, the and he's like a good man. I found man, his hotel room key and I broke and it. And he's like balling all these things. <laughs> the reason you don't want to post first, I could never post him because they don't have Instagrams. I'm telling you from real life experiences. Yo, and I hate to use this as an example, but we can go to Neon and put his girl on hard. Did she ever once fucking? Oh, I love this guy. Fuck no. no. And he made that girl rich. He made that girl somebody. And yeah. Yeah. she didn't do shit for Actually, his ass. He brought She's her whatever. to podcast. He brought her yeah. to different events. But did she bring him anywhere? No. Nah, did she ever post anymore. him and say, hey, I love this guy? No. Fuck no. Because no. she's trying to get her money. She it's a, it's a one way street, yeah, I'm though. telling you. Yeah, and she did. So when you talk about the trust thing and how he's talking about you shouldn't date girls with social media, that's an, a, yeah. a, like, perfect example of why. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think, guys, it's just better to do it that way. You want a girl that's low key. Um, okay, so you had a question now? Go ahead. I have something to say. Sure. Well, she, uh, she was so first. earlier okay. you said she was insecure because she liked men with money, but I feel like it's insecure to think your girl is going to leave you because... We never said it's insecure for a girl no, to have money. Insecurity. That's... No, it's never insecure for her to like men with money. No, we never said that. I, wait, wait, I, why, I, did, why did you say okay. she was insecure? No, it was, it was, uh, I was testing her logic because oh, okay. I said men want multiple women, and she said men that want multiple women are insecure. Then I went back and said, well, you want a man that has money and taller than you, right? So you call her back insecure. And then I said, what if I said that makes you insecure? And she looked at me with, with a weird face. And I was like, exactly. Sounds stupid. She's like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, because it's a preference. Okay. You can't say someone's preference makes them insecure. It doesn't make exactly. sense. Exactly. Preference is cheating. But this is the, the, okay, anyway. 
This it's is a, this is what I've come to realize with women. What you guys want is simply a preference. What we want is insecure, toxic, misogynistic, chauvinist, sexist, whatever the fuck you guys want to say. What men want are demon is demonized. What women want is just preferences. That's what I've realized when interviewing almost three thousand y'all. I think it's a double standard, okay. but that's fine. Yeah. We're each entitled to our own opinions. <laughs> I need to fuck somebody okay. tonight. <laughs> right. uh, I mean, I don't think it's an opinion. I just think that's like to say a man's wants are insecure, then we have to take that same logic and apply it to female wants and say that's insecure, but that's a ridiculous concept for me to say you wanting a taller man than you is insecure. That's biologically ingrained in you. I would be an idiot to say that. So can I ask something? Does that make sense? You see what I'm saying going here? Oh, I, mean, that's the thing. I get it's it. It's uh, like biologically in your guy's yes. head to want to fuck multiple girls. Yes, and it's biologically yes, in your right. mind to want a guy that's taller than you. So yes, I'm an yes. idiot for saying you're insecure for wanting a guy taller than you. Well, what if Just a girl like you're an idiot for saying I'm, I'm insecure for wanting multiple women. Understood. And if a girl wants to fuck multiple guys, then what? what is it's she's not, a whore. Not, she's a whore. Hold on, hold on. Y'all want a whore first. No, 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 but that's not... <laughs> it, it goes against your biology no, to fuck a bunch of dudes. How many kids can you bring to top of your That's a double that's standard. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're just different yeah. biologically. Yeah. 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 Like, you just can't do it. Like, how many kids can you bring to term? You, you can do it. No, no, no. Girls but, can do no, it. Gonna can. Fuck, they can fuck multiple men if they want to. However, again, it's a double standard. We're each entitled to our own opinion, so it's fine. It's we, not natural. Like, women women that fuck it's multiple dudes. It's not natural dudes? to y'all because y'all are men. I get it. Okay. I How many it. kids can you bring to term per year? Yeah, 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 I well, I don't have any kids. I'm not looking for kids Please right now. Please answer the so. question. No, Hypothetically speaking, how many ma children can you bring to term per year? One. One. Okay. So, wouldn't it be fair to say that since you can only bring one child to term per year, that your mindset and your biology yeah, is going to really reflect that. that because you can only bring one child to term per year, that. you're going to look for the best guy to have that child with? I mean, yeah. Bruh. But everybody don't always pick who they want to have a kid with. No, I understand I'm that. I'm going to pick, but... Oh, my God. Man. That's not the That's not the point, point. here. Okay? I, I'm just simply <laughs> saying, since you can only bring one child to term, you're more selective with who you have sex with than me, where I could bring a million kids to term, so I don't have to be as selective because I'm just putting the, the seed in the girl. I can have many kids, so I, I'm not selective on who I fuck to the same degree as you. Do you understand that? This is the greatest show I've ever No, done. I definitely get it. <laughs> At the end of the day, I That's still think it's a double standard. That's all. But I get it. Yes, there's there's a double standard because men Thank and women you. aren't the same. That's the point. It's a double standard. That was my point. But then why are men not hoes for wanting to fuck hella women? Can you exactly. tell if a guy's a big dick it's right away? It's in their DNA. Them? Just said it. It's in They're their like, DNA. They no. just it's like lions. It's one lion and it's multiple bitches. It's like in their DNA. They want to have multiple bitches. It's fine. We need to accept it. That's not true either. Out. No, that's actually I'm I think man actually no, that 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 what, what did what did you what did you want to say? Might as well date women. Holy shit. Okay, what did you want to say? What the fuck? No, I think just like as women, just being intelligent is sexy. And uh, I want a man that also brings his faithful and, you know, his money to the table. Because I'm going to have mine, too. I'm going to have mine, and he's going to have his. So I feel like, I feel like I'm not going to... Ready? I feel like I don't have to, like, go out there and go search, because I'm already... I do a lot of inner work. So I need my man to have to, like, do his therapy and all this good shit, and, you know what I'm saying? Like, just be a power couple together. What? That's it. Yeah, yeah, I know your word. That's, okay. that's, that's that's what I'm all for, a power couple. Like, like you do your together. inner work, I do my inner work, and we come together. The whole concept of a power couple is a lie. Why? Because women don't build, they move in, Bren. Yep. What? No, you do build. No, Women you don't build. build shit, man. No, you guys you move do. in. No, no, yeah, they do. No, they you they do build. No, we move in. My we mom has her own house. Move in, Men no, move no, no. in my mom's house. Different How about that? Different type of bitches yeah. my mom has. My mom has never moved in a man's house. Well, never, exactly. never, never, never. Literally. Literally. My mom never. has never. When you get raised by hustlers, never. it's different. Mm -hmm. Look, yeah. You don't look for money. Look, if a woman had two options to... Work because she has to, or have a man take care of her. Most women would opt for the man to take care of her. Most girls work at a necessity, but not because they want to. No, I True. work because I don't want to be controlled. Girls don't want to work. I, I work, work because I, I don't want to be controlled. And that I don't want. You said you want a guy that's a millionaire, no right? Exactly, but I work for. I'm. I want to be a millionaire. You think, you, you think you're going to be able to boss around a guy that? I want to be a millionaire. Guys, 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 guys. Do you think you're going to be able to boss around a guy that that's a millionaire? I'm not trying to boss nobody. I want to be a millionaire, and I want a millionaire. That's why I want to be broke, broke with a guy that's broke, and then build to be billionaires together. And then nobody's going to control nobody. Yeah. Guys, can we all throw our headphones on, please? Yeah. I know. Yeah. I was gonna, we're waiting to go to the bathroom. Just put your headphones on, please. Everybody put on their headphones. headphones you. So you want to build together right. so you don't have, like, It's not even levels. that. It's just, like, if you, like, let's say you build with someone from the rock bottom up, so then when you're up top, why would they do anything like 
to do you dirty if why y'all went through all of that. Y'all did that. So your guy is broke right now, right? Let's say you have money. I'm broke too. Hold on, hold on. Let's say you have money the guy that you're dating right now. Uh-huh. Would he still choose you? Be Probably honest. not. So then why would you build him up to leave you? But I wouldn't. You just said you you would. No, I wouldn't build like if he had money, more money than me, then. Bro, you're 18. It doesn't matter what you say. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're too young. You're too young. You're too young. You don't know anything. You're you're not, see, I, I, I don't want to be an years. asshole or whatever, but sometimes you just gotta tell people, shut up. You don't know nothing. It's all right. Uh, 18 years old. You meet 35 year olds with the with the head of an 18 year old, and then you meet 18 year olds that have different mindsets. Bro, you're 18, bro. Bro, you're 18, man. It's just a number. Bro, you're 18. You can't even run a car, man. Like, bro, like, come on, man. Like, yeah, you can't even run a car, bro. Come on, man. And if I said hell no. Do you even got a credit card? You don't even know your yeah, credit score probably, I got man. a credit card. Probably 700 credit score for an 18-year-old. Probably, year old. yeah, okay. Probably. So. She said probably. All That's right. a big probably. You're not smart. And I don't want to be an asshole or whatever, but like, yo, like... No, age is just a number. Yeah, I don't know nothing, bro. Like, like the, even 25-year-old chicks are retarded. So I can't even imagine like an 18-year-old. Because the thing, the reason why I don't take what women say seriously, and I'm going to be very honest and blunt about this. The reason why I don't take what you guys say seriously is because you guys have, have a very limited perspective on how the world really works. You guys live life on easy mode. You guys are just pretty, show up, men give you things, you get certain opportunities given to you just because you have a vagina. Yeah, you don't but really she's, she's I'll cut you off there. I'm going to cut no, you off Hold on, hold on, stop, stop, Bob. She's 18 stop, years old. Stop, 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 Men don't give me things, This is, whether it's chicks, way. whether it's chicks that's 18 or 25 or whatever, women have a very limited perspective on how the road world works in general because women don't have to work for things the way that men do. So... This is why I typically don't have female friends, and I don't really take their advice seriously because very few women actually understand how the world really works. Some do, but a majority definitely don't. And the more attractive she is, she typically doesn't know. Yeah. I've seen my mom do it. What? It's, I I see, I've seen my mom build and have her own everything. Is your mom, so. No, but I don't think I don't think you're disagreeing what? with that, right, everyone, Myron? What? what was that? Being like a single mom and working, I don't think he's talking about that. But see, like, the thing is, is that most wait, women wait, 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 don't want to be single moms. Like they did that because they fucked up. Nine out of ten times. They picked the wrong guy. Yeah. That's why they're a single mom. Yeah. That's is that, true. Is that a fair interpretation of... Because there is no right guys, um, no matter what generation you're in. Men will always speak want to men. Mike, please. Men will so, always want men. And then when what? the guy decides to leave because he doesn't men want the responsibility want of their child, then that's why. Like, men will always Whose fault is it for picking that man, then? The girls. Okay. But what if what Good if job. this guy made her a lie or whatever, and then he decided... Whose fault is that? Oh, Whose fault is that? Leave the lie. <laughs> There you go. So See, women I never want to take accountability. If I went on TikTok no, and I, I started crying, right? If I went on TikTok and I started crying and said, yo, this girl finessed me, bro. I took on a date to fucking poppy steak. I spent $2,000. She didn't give me no box. Y'all fucking laugh at me. Oh, you fucking dumbass. Yeah, dumbass. But then you Facts. go get knocked up by some I fucking that. loser. I agree with that. I you want to go ahead and blame the dude? Fantasy. No, you're the dumb bitch that made yep. the get knocked up by him. <laughs> but women don't want to take accountability for nothing. That's if true. you're a single mom, it's your fucking fault. You picked the wrong guy. Sure. Then now you got to raise your kid by yourself. Likelihood of beco him becoming a fuck up is even higher because single family mother homes are the, literally the root cause of all problems in the United States. So it's like, bro, that's not a flex to be a single mom. It's a fucking L. I don't know why women. I'm just dependent on your strong and stupid. Yep. You pick the wrong guy. I feel like no one like <laughs> plans to be single unless you just want to have a fucking kid right. and then you go about it that way. But at the end of the day, like I feel like women that are strong, they're gonna definitely build themselves up. Mm. And when it comes, it to. comes. And, if it, it, and, and when it goes, you have to let it. You can't they just have say. No choice though. I understand that, but listen to this. You I can't... mean, we could just go open our legs and get a sugar daddy, since that's what we're good for. W sugar daddy. Guys, what are promo no dinners, by the way? That. What are promo dinners? No one my said my that. girl no, used to go on those. What are they called? Promo dinners? Yeah. Prom promo dinners. Yeah, what are promo dinners? You used to go on those? Keep yeah, like, I, know, I, thought these little, dinners, I, I thought these little innocent dinners, they were like promo dinners. Miami dinner, thing. Promo yeah, dinners. What is that? What is that? Miami and Vegas thing. That's what I want to know. Those are not good, by the way. Those are not good. No. If your girl's going to that, bro, it's L. Yeah. Miami and Vegas thing. No, but yo, isn't it crazy? And I hate to go back to her yeah isn't it ahead, just sure. crazy to think like her standards a million a month and like how hard we've all had to work to get to where we're at to yeah. make let's say we'll just say a million a year yeah. how fucking hard we've million had to work and just that's to what i'm there. trying to say like yeah. no offense and, that's and why you can't take her seriously it's like Did I not start uh, it with you guys? Be, be quiet for two seconds yeah and this is what i mean when i say you can't take women like her seriously they don't live in the real world it's insane. Like she literally just said, I want a man making a million dollars a month. She doesn't even know the work that goes into making that kind of money because women don't have a good concept of money either. There's a reason why three quarters of them are in debt, eighty percent of the consumer base is female. They're retards with money. They've got bad credit in comparison to men. 
The reason why is because women don't understand how the world really works a lot of the times, unfortunately. That's why men need to be leaders and women need to follow. Yeah, and if you want to be like ah, equality, I'm I would I would be very for, impressed I'm one day sorry. if you make 200k, you I'd be very very impressed. I'm sorry, like, and I know Sonny. how hard it is I'm to get there. I'm sorry that my response I'm just saying, of, like triggered you, but that's No, no, no. Don't feel bad. No, 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 cuz so we brought girls on the show. Nuts. Like here's the thing. Now, it's not just her, bro. She's a little bit more delusional, but regular chicks come on here and say I want 100k per year. They yeah. don't know. Like only 15% of the American population right. makes that kind of money. Not even. And you still have to fucking work your ass. Yeah, I that's men and women. You're really that's men right. and women. You're at 1%. But you take a regular chick, bro. Hard, I don't make a regular percent. chick. I'm not saying you're delusional. The average American makes fucking my, like 30 to 50 a year. Like not 30 to 50. Dude, that's what that's the problem. A million a month is like, delusion. Have, but, but that's what I'm trying to say. This whole fake shit now drives me fucking crazy. Now, bro, hold on, hold on. Check this out. We bring regular girls on this podcast all the time. Good. We ask them, how much do you want your man to make? Whether they're from fucking Kansas, California, New York, whatever. It's typically six foot, hundred k per year. That's yeah. like the standard answer. So that's what I'm trying to say. When girls just don't live in reality, and a I'm lot of them. No, but you're all, she's also too. cutting out uh, ninety nine point nine percent of yeah. every male out there. Yeah, that 100%. could probably treat you better exactly. and be a way better person to you. I know by you're having gonna, that standard. So you think you're like divorce, you think you're thinking you're smart, but you're actually taking. And the funny part is, she don't care. Let everybody else. She's just trying to get out. I know. She's trying to exit. So it's just, it's just, it's just, I get the more so I think and digest and have my... tequila. It's just like, holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Well, my, okay, guys, funny story. My dream penthouse. Shut up, bitch. Yeah, yeah okay. thank you. Uh, I was going to say, uh, what the uh, fuck uh, did well, that yeah, I was going to explain uh, logic behind it, but no, never mind. We don't care, bro. No, it, it's, it, the, the, <laughs> I'm the sorry. bottom line is this. You're the reason why I don't take females seriously most of the time is because they don't live in reality. And what I've realized is the hotter the girl is, the less they live in reality. Because they can afford to be that way. Like, if you meet a really hot girl, every guy she's ever met is probably a millionaire. Every Thank guy she's you. been around is a celeb. So she doesn't understand the ba like what a regular guy even is. She goes into CVS, that dude working behind the counter, he's invisible. Bro. She don't even know who he is. Until she gets older. Yeah. Then it's like, oh shit. That's barely. You she's know when gone. girls get face reality? Yeah. When they start buying their own drinks at the bar. There yep. you go. <laughs> That's when girls start so fucking you know. facing reality, yep. bro. Damn. So you know. That's the truth. Yo, okay. what the fuck? That's we got hilarious. some more chats here. Yeah, yeah, let's oh, what chats. the fuck? Yo, yeah. Wizzy. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, what? Who told you, Nick?